before uh, the Aquarian Age. So I was talking about technological development and that being a hallmark of Aquarius. So we had discussed airplanes. Let's go, let's rewind the clock even just a little bit because this is, this is 50, 60 years before then was Another huge development for the Aquarian Age was the abolition of slavery. Something a long time coming. That was a, a huge step. And even, even considering all the, the political intrigue and, and economic intrigue that went around the decision, Lincoln's decision, who was an Aquarius, by the way, fascinating. Even considering all that intrigue, it happened. He did it. That is... Words can't even begin to describe what a huge leap forward that was. And it's Aquarius. It's, it's the, it's tolerance. It's Aquarius' is humanity is, <coughs> is brotherhood, sisterhood, you know, just connected, universality. It's a great word, universality. The abolition of slavery, both in America and I believe England at least had ab abolished slavery before then. I want to say most of Europe, France perhaps, I'm not sure, but I, I mean, it was around that time, as far as I know. That was a huge step forward for Aquarius, and it was a break from the Virgoan, Piscean, lower order mentality of people being under people, there being a hierarchy, you know, and people being able to be owned by people because they weren't, they weren't people, you know, that, we take that for granted so much, or at least I believe so, I think so, that, that shift, marked, and again, even considering all the problems that followed up until the civil rights era, that shift marked humanity respecting humanity, respecting the rights of other people, individuals. And it was, it's very fascinating to, to see that's a culmination of the age and the age before that, you know. I mean, the, the Arian Libran age, Jesus, the, the Piscean age, um, going, you know, all, all the way back. Hold on. Yeah, man, what are you doing? This is my dog. Ignore him. He'll probably be making little noises and stuff. But, um... Women's rights the full civil rights in the 60s. Do you know? Decades would go past, but developments were being made. Abolition of slavery in America happened in 1864, right? 1864. Women's rights, finally, women's suffrage, happened in 19... Was it 1920? I want to say 1919, 1920. A couple of decades later, Martin Luther King... Civil rights, Cesar Chavez. And this is this is a trend that's only growing, you know? It's it's beautiful and it's it's so reassuring, I guess you could say. For me it is anyways. That this notion of of human peace, of peace on earth, is only growing. And peace can only exist if fairness exists, if justice exists. If people are allowed to be themselves, to be free individuals directing their own life's course. I mean, voting is obviously part of that. 
directing society, the society that you live in, as society affects the individual, and the individual is society. All this is Aquarius. Now, in this time, right now, we're seeing globalism. And we've seen it, you know, uh, globalization. Globalism, uh, however you want to put it. And we've seen it for the last couple hundred years. There have been some ugly lessons to have learned, such as the World Wars, you know, the Cold War, Vietnam, all these, these conflicts. And yet, we've survived. <laughs> and that was, that was, uh, that wasn't guaranteed, <laughs> you know? I mean, we've survived. And here we are. It's, it's incredible. And I think it speaks to... Oh. There, we, there we go. It's incredible. And I think it speaks to... Oh. Hold on. I think it speaks to... Oh, okay, guys, I'm going to fall. I think it speaks to the higher consciousness happening. And Aquarius being the the harbinger energy, if you will, the the energy that is meant to in this time take us forward. And again, Aquarius is no better, no worse than any any other. But it is the energy that's going to take us forward that is and has been taking us forward for for centuries now. Its influence is all around us. And it's only growing. Like I was saying, globalization. I, I recently studied in France for a semester. Uh, this last one, actually, fall 2012. <coughs> and I was struck by... Although so very different, and each country has its own astrological energy, so they see the world differently, and they, they live life differently, and... You know, even despite all that, and I, I saw a lot of countries, only like 10. It was intense, dude. It was awesome. <laughs> but despite all the differences of countries, the beautiful differences that make each country unique, I was struck by how universal and how similar everyone was. And across the age gaps, too, I met a lot of people from a lot of different generations. And I was really, I found it incredible how the world is changing at how the Aquarian ideals of peace, of, of universal love, universal freedom, universal respect of humanity, of, of personal development, of societal development, that was, that was present in every single country. Every single one. And they all had their own spin on it, which is beautiful, actually. It was great for ideas, you know, totally different perspective. And yet, it was amazing, because... The shift is happening. We are living it right now. The fact that this video is even possible, and the fact that you're watching this video, that I'm making this video, is all Aquarius. Let's look at why. This has been done on an iPhone. Steve Jobs was a Pisces with Mercury and Aquarius. Mercury and Aquarius. Martin Luther King, Mercury and Aquarius. But, you know, it's a, just another <laughs> facet of evidence. Technology made for human advancement. This phone is enabling me, and has enabled me to, to be connected to a, a, an amazing degree, an, an infinite degree, a revolutionary, to use an Aquarian term, degree in connection with with family friends the world all of that is Aquarius this technology its purpose you know this technology isn't going to kill anyone that's that's a big leap forward you know Steve Jobs could have dedicated his life to conquering or causing war but no he was dedicated to developing technology that people could use. Ordinary people. You know, like you and me. A 
education and teaching and, and speaking and ideas and equality. Aquarius. You know, astrology, Aquarius. Astrology is ruled by Aquarius, and it'll be beautiful, very relieving to see astrology grow in the coming years and be treated with the respect that it deserves as a, a, a serious system, a, a logical system, a system that makes sense, a, a system that helps make sense of the world. Like I was saying, education, you know, the fact that I was able to study abroad in France, that's huge, you know, uh, geez. And I mean, I went over with a bunch of other Americans and not only did I meet French people, but I met people in France from all over the world. You know, I have Chinese friends who only speak to me in French, which is pretty fun, but Russian, uh, Colombian, Mexican, um, all over. It's, it's beautiful. And we were all there to better ourselves. Education, that's an air pursuit understanding, growing, developing, using the mind, all of that is air, which is Aquarius. Most people think Aquarius is a water sign because of the water bearer, but it's actually an air sign. And um, the metaphor that I really enjoy, I really find truth in with Aquarius is it's the water bearer, the, the water that he's bearing, she, that the person is bearing is truth, is knowledge is wisdom you know and they're they're letting it go and it's flying the air and water both act in waves you know they're both as the ancient greeks classified those elements flowing they're both wet you know and uh, so yeah that's the water bearer why it's an, actually an air sign funny but yeah education i mean look at how education has progressed in the last 100, 150 years. God, I mean, public education didn't even exist until about, like, well, I, I don't even know the date, but like 150 years ago, maybe even, maybe like 1900s. I don't know. You tell me, please. I'd love to know. But I know that it was recent. You know, it, it's under the umbrella of the Aquarian influence that we've seen through abolition of slavery, through technology skyrocketing, through world peace and tolerance. You know, and we still have ways to go. But it's better. And it's always getting better, thankfully. Let's, let's make sure it keeps getting better. Anyways, that's our job, you know? For sure. But education, you know, university education. It's changed the world. And it's going to continue doing so. And all of that's Aquarius. Teaching, you know? <clears throat> even in recent years, there have been such huge, well, even, especially in recent years, there have been huge developments all over. Excuse me. <coughs> ah, lovely. I love being sick. But, um, I've had a lot of different teachers school teachers, university teachers, in recent years. And I've noticed a shift, you know. They are more, there's a more colleague-type mindset. They recognize the, the ideal situation between a teacher and student is equality, recognizing that although a teacher has wonderful things to, to, to teach and to give and to, to help understand for the student, that ultimately the student is a human being, just like them. No more or less special. 